Hi, this is Charlie giving you Friday's live trading. I hope you're very well. It's the 24th of November and apologies for not doing a video last week. We were recording it. I was recording it. And then I came back to it. I went off out all afternoon, came back to it at 20 to 8 in the evening and um, finished the recording off and forgot I'd had the, mute, the mic on mute. So I ended up just binning it and I couldn't be bothered to have to try and edit the software and everything else at quarter to nine at night. So that's why there wasn't one last night, last week. But anyway... Um, it is uh, quarter to eight at the moment in the morning, roughly, and um, possibly going to be looking at shorting the euro dollar here this morning. So <clears throat> I've just been saying to the guys in the trading room here that um, um, I'll um, look at a band play potential this morning. So um, a band play is um, a move into one of my white bands, but not on this time frame. Actually looking at the 15 minute chart over here. So moving to my um, my white lines up here um, will constitute a sell I believe um, and we'll see how we get on with that. So um, I'll press pause for now. Okay just back and we're just about to hit this uh, level here and of course I could be wrong but um, I'm hitting it right here. So I'm gonna hit it with my rhythm stick this morning. Um, so I've put two units in uh, three units and a fourth. Four units this morning. And the reason I've put four units in is because um, the risk um, by putting the stop up here is not that much. It's well, 10 pips or so. And um, if I'm wrong and it just fires up here, so be it. But um, it's not a lot of risk for the you know, potential. It's not a lot of potential that much anyway. It's a bit lower down. But... Um, but anyway, we'll see. So let me just um, sort my stops out and, um, and then I'll come back. Okay, just back and I've been stopped out on the Euro. It's come straight up. So let's bring up the account. I can show you the whole account now because I'm not in any uh, swing positions for a change this week. Usually I'm in swing positions. That's why I don't show you. I have to just take screenshots, don't I? And then just pull them across because I'm usually in a number of open positions. But no open positions. Anyway, so for now... Um, uh, down three, four, five on those. Um, I said it was an, uh, it was nice because it wasn't a big stop. Um, now the the euro looks like it's about to break out. Um, <clears throat> I'm just um, checking the screens off. The, sorry, the, the the charts off screen. Um, but the reason part of the reason I took this trade on the euro today was there was divergent behaviour on the higher time frames. So um, it's likely, if I take another trade, it could well be on the short side of the euro dollar, potentially, um, if it sort of sets up. Uh, and that could take a few hours. Um, I, I my, if I see something <clears throat> on like a five-minute chart or whatever, that um, you know, a high-volume bar or something like that, then it's possible that um, once it's already broken out to new highs, that is, it's possible that I... Um, short that, but otherwise, um, I'll um, well, we'll see, we'll see. So um, I'll press pause for now, but no doubt there'll be another trade on at some point today. Okay, just back, and the euro has rolled over a little bit here since um, it's rallied back up this morning and stopping me out on that trade from earlier. We got in at forty-five or so, wasn't it? Forty-six down here. Um, then, like I said, on the higher time frames, we've got some sort of diver double top type divergences. If I can take you to a four hour chart, so here we go against this high to this high. So um, I am going to be looking to take another short on it on this dollar on this euro dollar, but unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be a trade which I'll be running into next week now. So um, I'll put this video out a bit late today. Um, <coughs> but um, but yeah. But anyway, for now I haven't put anything in just yet. So looking, I'm just waiting for the end of this hour. So we've still got 20 minutes to go yet, and then I'll see if um, I can um, put a, um, a trade on. So I'll press pause for now. Okay. Um, right. So this euro dollar, um, it has indeed um, set up on the hourly and the four hourly chart. Um, so that's a two hour chart. But uh, anyway, just um, we've got this double top sort of thing going on here. Um, so um, that's effectively what I'm trading. So I am going to put uh, two units in now. Now remember the, the trade this morning was four units. I need to, need to put two units in. It's a wider stop, I believe, on this time. Yep. 
So I'm going to put a stop up, well, obviously above these highs. So I'll pop a stop up. Now what I'm debating here is whether to put the stop just above this high here, let's say 76 or so, or whether to allow it a little bit more room to breathe based on the four hour charts. But um, I'll put it up, I'll put the stop up at 78 and then we'll we'll see. So um, so it's around about 20 pip stop I think from where I've just executed. Um, so sorry I'm getting, whilst, whilst I'm doing this recording I'm getting um, um, some private messages in the trading room as well about some other stuff. So uh, I will press pause for now whilst we're, actually I don't need to press pause, why don't I just bring it all up? Look I can bring it up and show you because I'm not in any other positions at the moment. Wow. So let's put the stops in. So one 1878 and 1878. There we go. Okay, so the stops are in place. As far as targets are concerned, um, the target is down currently around about 117.86. So it's quite a way down. That that's a, a moving average though, so that will come um, off at some point that will come up a bit but um, that's the current target for this now even if this is going to work out and, and you know and hold here this afternoon um, I wouldn't expect um, um, it to obviously get all the way down there today so this is going to be a trade that I'll be holding over into next week um, no doubt if that's if I don't get stopped out here today if it just goes up higher this afternoon and we get stopped out it could still be a situation where I end up having to take another trade on it because sometimes when you get these sort of divergence sort of set type setups that um, you will get nicked out only to then set up again. The good thing is with divergence plays is that they do have generally good risk rewards on them. So um, for now, um, I've put two, just two units in and we'll leave it at that and I'll come back to this later.